The U.S. House of Representatives passed for the first time today a bill that repeals a federal prohibition against marijuana. The bill also clears the way to forgive many marijuana convictions. Our Joe St. George explains what happens next and how marijuana policy could change under presumptive president-elect Joe Biden. Friday's vote in the House of Representatives is a major moment for supporters of marijuana legalization nationwide. Because currently under the Controlled Substances Act, marijuana is classified as a Schedule 1 drug at the federal level. For perspective, heroin is also classified as a Schedule 1 drug. Now, while federal laws haven't stopped marijuana from becoming legal in 15 states and normalized throughout much of the country, having marijuana illegal at the federal level restricts marijuana businesses from using banks, allows federal convictions to still occur, and prohibits the collection of federal taxes on cannabis as well. Federal workers can still be fired for testing positive and scientific research is limited too. The bill is passed. The House vote, though, is for the most part largely symbolic for the time being. Republican Senator Mitch McConnell, like many Americans, has been against decriminalization for decades and intends on blocking this legislation from ever coming up for a vote. Which leads to this question. What could President-elect Joe Biden do on his own regarding marijuana laws? Well, he could allow federal employees to use cannabis. That would impact drug testing. It would involve an executive order. He could also attempt to reclassify it as a Schedule 3 or Schedule 4 drug. That would have lesser penalties penalties for possession and use. He could appoint an attorney general with a hands off approach and he could pardon those convicted of federal marijuana crimes as well. One big takeaway from today is that marijuana politics is certainly evolving in Washington, but it still may be several years before it's fully decriminalized at the federal level in Washington. I'm Joe St. George.